You may have heard that Jamboard is being discontinued in October of 2024, but don't worry. You can convert your existing Jamboard classroom activities to a great tool called FigJam in just a couple of clicks. Hi, my name is John Sowash. I help teachers and students use Google products in the classroom. To convert your Jamboard files to FigJam, simply log in to Figma and look up in the top right corner of your screen. This is where you're gonna see this brand new import button. The team over at Figma has done an amazing job with this import tool. I think you're gonna love it. We're gonna click from Jamboard, authorize your Google account. You will need to do this each time um, you click that button. You can convert one file at a time or all of your Jamboard files. It's up to you. I'm just going to do one uh, template here to begin with. Um, this is called, this is a brain dump activity that I do with my students right before a test. This one happens to be on the Greek and Roman gods. I'm going to select that and it's going to convert. This process can take a little bit of time. I've never had it take more than 60 seconds. Just depends on how many frames you have, how many objects there are on that frame. This one's already done. Let's open it up. So we just uh, click on the new file that appeared in our fig jam list. And here we go. Now, let me show you the original Jamboard activity. It looks like this. You can see we had sticky notes, text, images. Uh, students are reviewing the, what they know about the uh, Greek gods listed here. Here is the Fig Jam conversion. Uh, each of the frames in Jamboard comes over as a section. Jamboard and Fig Jam are a little bit different. Fig Jam is an open canvas, whereas Jamboard is more like Google Slides where you have individual um, pages. Um, text wrapped a little bit differently, but that's fine. I can just go in here and change this, uh, maybe make this 200 points. There we go. Amazing that all of this is fully editable. I can resize my images. I can adjust my sticky notes, change the color of my sticky notes. You're not going to lose anything from your existing Jamboard activity. Even the notes um, added by my students will come over exactly as uh, they were in the original Jamboard activity. Moving your files from Jamboard to FigJam is super easy, but I have three tips that I'd like to share with you that'll improve this process for you. Tip number one is to import and convert your original Jamboard files, not used ones. Now, I have an example on the screen here. This is the bad way to do it. This is a Jamboard activity that I shared with a group of teachers. And as you can see, they've added a bunch of sticky notes onto my slides, my Jamboard frame. We've annotated, added images. We've got all kinds of things on here. Now, everything is fully editable, which is great. The problem is if I'm trying to set this activity up for the next group to add their thoughts and images and sticky notes, I've got to remove all of these student generated um, objects and that can take some time. Hopefully you have original versions of your Jamboard activities that students have not added anything to. Those are the ones you're going to want to import so you have a nice clean starting point on which to build your activities. Now, tip number two is just a reminder that anything that you've added as a background image in Jamboard will not be editable here in FigJam. Um, this is an example here. We've got this little slider. All the sticky notes can be edited, but the blue background and the little emojis, that was all uploaded as an image in Jamboard, and so I can't make changes to it. Tip number three is to recognize that FigJam puts your frames into what they call a section. And this is very helpful. FigJam is a little bit different than Jamboard in that it's just this big canvas. We can zoom in, zoom out, and move things around as we wish, whereas Jamboard is more like Google Slides where you have individual pages. Now, each page in my Jam activity has already been grouped. It'll say frame one, frame two, frame three, and I can click on that frame label and move wherever I want to go. There, all those objects are grouped together. We can rename this. I can say favorite things on that. 
There's another cool feature that FigJam offers, which is the ability to hide a section. And this is a great classroom management feature that allows me to stage my activities. And so um, students can't see the next activity until I reveal it uh, to them. Now you can remove the frame or regroup things if you want to. I'm simply going to right click on an activity and I'll see ungroup and that will remove it. And then all of these objects will become independent and I can move them wherever I want. I can even, you know, take all of these things. Maybe I'll put this one over here and we'll actually combine this together. So I'm going to ungroup as well. And then I can just drag around all of those and create a new section uh, for, for all of them. We have barely even scratched the surface of what you can do with FigJam. I'm really excited to be partnering with FigJam to create a whole video series for teachers just like you so that you can learn how to create diagrams with FigJam, how to integrate FigJam with Google Classroom, and explore some really unique features of FigJam that frankly you won't find in Jamboard. You can check out my entire video series up at the top of the screen. And if you're ready to get started with using FigJam, you can sign up 100% free by visiting figma.com slash education.